Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now here with us today, we happen to have a ZTE Warp 7 smartphone that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we come to the screen that says that the device was reset and to continue we have to sign in with an account that was previously on the device so in this case we cannot just log in with any old google account so that's a security measure that was implemented by google back in android 5 to where when an android device is factory reset without first taking off the google account that's on it it's then going to ask for that account again as a security measure after the reset is performed so we get tons of customers asking us all the time to help them get back into their device, either because they got themselves locked out because they couldn't remember their password or couldn't, uh, you know, they didn't know what their email address was or their kids locked them out or whatever the case may be. Or a lot of times also someone will buy a phone from a dishonest seller who doesn't tell them that the lock is enabled. And then the person is obviously not able to get in because they don't know the login information. But basically we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this particular device here without having to have that login information. It's a procedure that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And that's actually what we're doing right here right now just as proof that we can actually do it. We're just running our bypass program here on it and after that takes another few seconds to finish up and reboot the phone, we should then be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock where it's asking for the Google account. So give our program here just one second to finish up. It looks like it's doing that now and the phone is going to start rebooting here. So we can go ahead and close that out and then disconnect the phone and we will let it run through its steps here and then we'll see what we get. This one just happens to be from Boost Mobile here in the US, so it's showing the Boost symbol there as it's turning on. Okay, so now we are back to the setup steps and we can just go ahead and skip through everything here. We can skip the SIM card, we can skip the Wi-Fi, and we're gonna wait for it to check things here. Actually, I think if I go back and disconnect the Wi-Fi, that'll help things go faster. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now it's asking for a name and we can just skip that. We don't need a screen lock. And this is a good sign because we were never able to see any of these steps before. So that's a good sign that we'll be able to proceed all the way through the setup process now. And yep, sure enough, there we are. We're now up at the home screen. We have full access to all the apps, features, and settings. And it is just like a brand new device that never had a Google account on it whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings here and show you exactly what we're working with. So we can see here that under the About Phone section, we do have the model number of the N9519. So that is the Boost Mobile version of the ZTE Warp 7. Again, is what the name of this phone is. So if you have one of these models and would like help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the information there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.